Tom's Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough Part 5. So we're just outside of Jubilee Life City, and I'm going to actually go back and heal my Pokemon. So there's a cave coming up. First required cave to go through the game, I think. But there's going to be a whole load of trainers on the way to um, the next city. Let's check my bag. See what medicines I have. Yeah, that'll be fine. Whoa. Okay, so she doesn't battle you, but this guy does. And there's a Pokeball to the right. So I'll go and get that. He's got a Quick Tot and a Zubat. So, let's see how much pound does. Okay, a growl. I really want to get a bacon. Because it evolves into salamence. And salamence is quite good. Well, I say quite good. Very good. But, I was thinking, uh, the, oh, there was three Pokemon I was going to get as my flying type. Either Starly, Zuba, or Gligar. And uh, I'm not sure how you evolve Gligar into Gliscor, but I know it's not by level. Uh, Zubat has to evolve into Crobat by happiness. And uh, Starly evolves by level, so I thought Starly would be the easiest. Just because I can't be bothered to go through any of this stuff. Like getting him happy and stuff. So yeah, and we're near to learning a new move, even though the new move is really bad on seaweed. So... Yeah, I think it's water sport we learn. can't remember what level, but I know that he learns it quite near. Might be level 11. messing up the camera. No. Uh, let's just go down here and there's some trainer tips there. That's stupid. And just talks about PP, PowerPoints. Like when they run out, go to the poker center. Some stupid stuff like that. Oh my god. I'm gonna have to put it back there. No way. I can put it there. Because I'm on like an edge and the camera. This got a massive stand and someone moved the table so and a shinx and it's just fire some bubbles in his face He does five hit points every time, or so. And I just killed him. So he's not going to get to do another five. And we're going to get to level 11. And I think it's at this level that he learns. Yep, water sport. The wood's greatest move. That guy gave me even more money than the school kid did. He gave me like. 128 quid. School kid gives me 120 quid, and he's only a youngster, so I don't see how uh, these youngsters get like hundreds of pounds. It's just stupid. Now he's got a chop. I was I was considering getting a chop, but I'm not going to. And I am going to be getting um. 
a rock type. So, in the comments, just like, I'm gonna comment on this video, like, uh, I'll just put like, um, Bastiodon, um, Crandios, and Geodude. Well, not Bastiodon, I'll put Shield on, Crandios, and Geodude, and then, uh, like it, and the one that gets the most likes, uh, will be the rock type that I'm going to get. So, because I can't decide. I was thinking about getting, um, Crandios, because, um, Bastiodon isn't that good at attack. I don't think he has that many good attacking moves. But he's really good at defense. Geodude, um, is... Uh, the Pokemon I usually get is my rock type. Um, that's why I was considering not getting it. Get it as a like, change. Plus the other two are fossils, so it makes it harder. A bit more like, interesting. Anyway, put Birdie up at the front. The reason I got, well, one of the reasons that I got, um, Starl is because, uh, it's because, um, I'm not sure, level 41 or something, he learns Brave Bird. I just think that's, like, an awesome move. And this girl has got, like, uh, four Pokemon. And she has an Abra. So, if you have, like, a really weak Pokemon, like, level 1, and you go against this person, when she sends in her Abra, just battle it with, like, your level 1, because all he's going to be able to do is use, um, teleport and that doesn't work in trainer battles so he's not actually going to be able to attack you so you can just like stand there and like, destroy it and now we're going to go starly against starly I'm just going to use wing attack someone just shouted bye randomly like bye I'm gonna actually sending my slave against the Abra so that he can actually get some XP points. Probably get like one and a third levels up. Cause I think her Abra is like level four, my slave's like level um three. So I'll probably get like one and a third level up. So here we go, here's the Abra. I'll just switch out. I will like actually level my slave up every now and then just in case, like, I'm against the Elite Four and all I've got is my slave left. And Bidoof only knows Tackle and Teleport's going to keep failing all the time because uh, Teleport doesn't work in Trainer Battles. I had an Abra once and uh, I, I actually, like, went to the bother of, like, giving it the XP share and like taking ages to level it up when I could have just taught it a TM or a HM or something. I'm not sure if like if I like how many TMs and HMs he can learn, but like I could have he probably probably could have learnt like return at least and you get that really early so there we go, there's one level. Now how far up into the next level will we get? <laughs> There we go, so Slave got up a level, like a level and a half. And there's a Pokeball around here, and one more person to battle, so... I think I'll just... Uh, take... Uh, how many Pokemon does she have? Hmm... Ah, oh, she has one, I'll just take it out with... See if I can kill it with a Wing Attack. Oh, it's a Psyduck! Hooray, Psyducks. I don't know why I love Psyducks. They're just awesome. Anyway, just smash it with a wing. Oh yeah, um, uh, my friend, um, not the friend on the game, but my friend who swapped me the Arceus, uh, he, um, uh, he, he has some ducks, and, um, we were feeding them, and, uh, one, and we, and, uh, he chucked a, a worm at one, and just smashed it with his wing. It's funny went in the cat's face. Ah. 
first time I played this game, I read like I was like speaking to everyone, like reading all the training tips. What the hell? Alright, I'm I'm actually gonna kill this it's just for the XP. Oh yeah, we'll probably get up to level 13 with Birdie. Hooray! World's greatest level 13. Supreme level. Do you know why it's my favourite level? Because it's the level that Zubat learns bite. So there we go. And we're lear learning double team. So let's. Uh, I've forgotten what double team does. What does it do? Oh, right. It raises its evasiveness. Oh, I suppose it's better than Growl. I may as well just get rid of Growl. Well, at least Zubat learns a... Whoa! I just smashed the camera, pretty much. Anyway, at least Zubat learns a good, good move. It's funny that... No, oh, damn it. Oh yeah, you can stop your Pokemon evolving by pressing B. I might actually do that with my Piplup just to show you when it evolves. Actually, no, I'll do that with my slave. Because I want him to stay as a slave. And he gives you something that I've forgotten. Oh yeah, he gives you um, Rock Smash, which we can't use yet. But oh well, at least we have it. And up there, up in that little bit there, we need Rock Smash to get through, so... So let's just go through here and battle these people. Battle these picnickers. I don't see why you'd have a picnic in a cave. Why would you have a picnic in a cave? If any of you know why you would have a picnic in a cave, please tell me in a comment. Because I just don't see the point in having a picnic in a cave. Oh yeah, let's try that double team. I don't know why, but he still gets a hit on us, because that's just how bad Double Demon is. Oh yeah, great. He's not even going to use an attacking move. Okay, let's see if uh, I can like use another... Oh, great. Oh, yes, he, he missed. Or did I did I dodge it? Well, at least I didn't get hit. See if I can like get no hit points taken off me in this whole, um, whole battle. See if I can... Like kill it without getting any hit points taken on me. All oh, right, I could have just done that in the first place. Oh, that was a critical hit. Oh well. I'm gonna put my um. I was gonna say Oshawa, but that's in white. Uh, Piplup in seaweed. Oshawa evolves into like a really awesome Pokemon. I think it like Samurott. It's like cross between samurai and otter. It's just awesome. Anyway, just cut it with bubble. I'd love if like every single Pokemon in the whole game just learns a move at level 13. Like no matter what it is, just like learns a move every single game. Oh yeah, critical hit. Every. Apparently, there's a Pokemon that learns a move like three levels in a row. I'm not sure if that's true, but oh, apparently there is. Oh, I'm trying to find a good position to put the camera in. Anyway. One last trainer! And is that a Pokeball? No, wait, that's a rock. I have to look over the camera, so all those rocks, like that one, that one, that one, that one, just look like Pokeballs to me. So I was just checking because they might have been a Pokeball. <laughs> I keep hitting the camera because the I'm, I'm using a new camera stand and it's got like a massive thing pointing out. Let's use double team. Let's see if this Bidoof misses. Ah, oh, there we go. He still gets a hit. Oh well. Oh, kill you. I wonder if you can teach Bidoof fire blast. That would be awesome. To die. The youth would pro probably be like a half a half decent Pokemon if it knew like Fire Blast and Judgment, like Eruption or Erupt or whatever that move is. I can't remember. Something like that. I think it's Erupt. 
So that's the last uh, person in this route. Stay tuned for part six.